Okay, I've got the gear installed in the main wing. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, after I set this off to the side, is I'm going to go ahead and install the nose gear. Okay, the nose gear's got two numbered pieces of uh, balsa that come with it. Uh, the number two is for the bottom, and the number one is for the top. Basically, what that does is uh, that those act as retainers. I'm going to take just a little bit of glue, attach it to the bottom of this number two. slide it underneath the bend and clip it into place. The bend in this strut here. And it'll set flush. Do the same thing with the top. I've got the actual uh, uh, landing your strut coming up and into the servo arm. Right here. It's very easy, it slides right in. Uh, that way when we turn the servo, we'll actually have steering landing gear. Basically, you just a little glue to the back side, and this will slide right in to place and uh, hold the gear in place. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook up these uh, ESCs to the EDF. You may have to, you may have to enlarge the holes a little bit, they're a little bit small. But uh, I just want to hook them both up, make sure they're spinning it in the right direction. Okay, I've got my EDFs hooked up. And I uh, tested out and made sure that the uh, thrust was, or that the engines were sticking in the right direction, so I got uh, rearward thrust. Uh, just hooked up my receiver, hooked up to uh, channel 3, put the battery in, and just gave it a little bit of throttle, and uh, everything's good to go. Next thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and put my wing on. Go ahead, thread the servo lead up to the nose, place the two little tabs together, and the wing just snaps on. Okay, I've got some retaining screws, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my retaining screw in. Alright, I've gone and uh, I've got the wings on, next thing I've done is uh, I've went and hooked up uh, all the servo leads, hooked up uh, the ailerons to channel 1, the uh, elevator to channel 2, the throttle obviously to channel 3, and then uh, the nose gear to channel 4. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue <clears throat> with just a little bit of glue here, uh, my canopy uh, to my cover here. Just gonna run a little bit of glue around the sides, and I've used the uh, little cockpit decal that came with. Put that on before because once this glue dries, I can be able to do anything. Alright, now that uh, I basically have the whole plane together, uh, I'm going to go ahead and insert the, uh, the tail section here. I'm going to go ahead and just snap it on there. The instruction said to glue it, but I'm not going to glue it. I want to be able to take it off if uh, I have any problems with it. Okay, make sure that the 
servo linkage is underneath it and it just snaps in. One thing to note on this uh, receiver right here is there is no uh, solid mounting location for it and also there's no uh, routing for the antenna wire so before we fly it that's something we're going to need to do we don't want the antenna wire just hanging out to get sucked into an EDF and uh, it'll make for a bad day so what I'm going to do is take some velcro and velcro this down in here so it's just not floating around and then uh, we're going to run the antenna wire through the bottom and out the back. All I've done here is take some velcro and run it underneath this piece of balsa wood. I'm just going to lay the receiver down in there, lay the velcro across it, and just hold it in place with this velcro. There it's a little more, more secure now than it was. Okay, with the uh, routing of the antenna, what I went ahead and did is I just ran the antenna through this uh, balsa wood support, through the fuselage, over the wing, and uh, I dropped the wing just a little bit and threaded the antenna out behind the trailing edge of the behind the trailing edge of the wing, and uh, this way it's going to stay free of uh, the EDF unit and it's going to be allowed to just dangle behind the aircraft uh, without interfering with anything. The last thing we need to do to this before uh, we go out check the center of gravity and try to fly it is we just need to hook up uh, the elevator. <clears throat> We're going to do this by uh, <clears throat> marking the rod where we need to bend it. Just going to use a permanent marker. Go ahead and mark it right by the hole. Okay, now that uh, it's all marked, I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and a needle nose and just carefully bend it. I'm gonna thread it through and then cut off the accent, the excess. There's not a whole lot left over, so you don't have to cut off that much, probably about an inch. Slide this little rubber piece of tube over it. And it's secure. Ready to check CG and go fly.